Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is March 14th and I'm just about to leave to get my last immunotherapy dose so I thought that I would take you all along with me and some other things are going to be happening today as well so let's go! So I just got my shots. I'm recording in a gender neutral bathroom because it's really loud outside. I can't believe that this day has finally come. A year ago, I never thought that I would be in this position right now. I'm so thankful for Evan Lowe and Patrick and Alan from his district office and Elizabeth for helping me with this. It's not exactly fun to get something that you're incredibly allergic to injected into your body every week for seven months, but this was absolutely worth it and it's helped me so much. So I just found a video that I recorded the day that I got denied by the Department of Employee Benefit Security. I just want to thank for anyone who hasn't seen it already just to show how far you can actually come in such a short period of time. So I'm at the Lyra station right now, and I just got a call from my agent at the Department of Employee Benefit Security or whatever. And after months and months of waiting, I literally just got denied. Words cannot even describe how angry I am. So that clip you just saw was from May 3rd, 2018. Today is March 14th, 2019. So now I just have to go back to the waiting room and wait for 30 minutes and then I can leave and go to SJSU. So I'm at the light rail station right now and I'm gonna be heading to school as soon as the train gets here because I have to go to the doctor there to get an EpiPen for my Canada FLP because my professor told me to get one. But I'm actually standing in the same spot that I got denied by the Department of Employee Benefit Security about nine months ago. And I feel so lucky to be where I am right now after everything that happened last year. So I'm at the clinic, I'm in one of the rooms waiting for the doctor so I can get my prescription and then I'm going to try to fill it and then I'm going to go to class. So I just got done with my appointment, the doctor was really nice and she gave me the prescription and I'm not going to show it to you guys because it has my address on it. But I'm going to take this to the pharmacy in a few days and get it filled so that I can have it for my trip. I really hope that I don't need this but my professor told me to get it so I decided to get it because I think she's probably right that it's good to have it just in case. And now I'm going to head to class and I'll catch up with you all later. So it's a little bit after 4.30 now, I just finished school and work and now I'm I'm just doing my homework on this patio. It's such a nice day here. If you go to SJC, this is the patio on top of YUH. And this is one of my favorite spots to study or make calls because it's usually pretty quiet and it's really nice. So I'm gonna study for about an hour or so and then I'm gonna leave to go to the District 9 Leadership Group meeting, which I'm really excited about. So I just got home from the meeting a little while ago. It's almost 11 p.m. The meeting went over as usual, but I think it went pretty well. We heard from our city council member, our supervisor, and a representative from Evan Lowe's district office. So it was really great to hear from everyone. They also changed the format, so there's actually more time for us to ask our representatives questions, which was really great. So I was kind of disappointed that I was the youngest person in the room, but I really enjoyed hearing from other people and hearing from the members of the community that did decide to show up. If so any of you watching this, don't be afraid to be the youngest person in the room. Show up to me meetings and make your voice heard. Even if you're a young millennial in a sea of gray, it's okay. You have every right to be there and you have every right to make your voice heard. So I think I'm going to end the video here because I'm really tired and I have to wake up before 6 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.